So hey guys, welcome back to Travel Guide with your favorite petite. If you're new here and today happens to be the first time you'll be on this channel, I would love you to stay. So kindly join this family by hitting the subscription button, join our family and uh, share our videos with your family and friends. Do like the video if it really helped you or if you find this video very helpful. However, to my returning subscribers, thank you so much once again for tuning in today. Yes, so last week on Travel Guide series, I mentioned of five things you need to consider before you travel in terms of what you need, such as uh, proof of accommodation, proof of uh, insurance, travel insurance, uh, tickets, and etc. I would not want to touch on that today because today we, ha we are going to talk about three things in this video and I don't want to go back to, to last week's video. However, if you've not watched that video, I will uh, encourage you to watch that video. Just click up here on top of this video. I'm going to leave the link here so you guys can watch it. Uh, if you find that video also helpful, do share it with one or two people so they might be well informed before they travel. Because most of the times we do think that we know everything before we travel, but yet still we forget that there are some certain things or documents that we will need before we travel. And today I'm here to be your guide. So just stay tuned as you watch this video. So basically this video highlights relevant info of countries you can travel. You can travel to with a Ghanaian passport, with a visa on arrival e-visa and visa free now when we say visa free what do we mean by visa free visa free literally means that you do not need to go and require for a visa at a consulate or at a um, or online countries that you can visit with a valid passport now when i say valid passport i don't mean by you can travel with any passport that uh, would expire let's say within a week or a month that's only done when you're going to your own country so for instance if i have a ghanaian passport and my passport is going to expire in one week and i'm traveling back to ghana or let's say that the passport has already expired yes i can travel to ghana because i'm going back to my home country and i yes i can you know i can renew the passport at when i get to ghana so yes i can travel with my ghanaian passport however if you're traveling with your ghanaian passport to be precise, if you're going to a different country, such as, let's say, you want to travel to Seychelles, Maldives, uh, Wales, Indonesia, like Bali. These are three common places that everyone would love to visit. So when they hear, they're like, oh, that's such a beautiful place. But do I really need a visa? Is it visa free country? Well, so many, there are so many people out there who have already explained in so many videos uh, concerning visa free countries, uh, e-visa and also visa on arrival destinations where you can travel in countries where you can travel to. However, maybe my subscribers do not know about it. So I'll be glad. Just comment down below if you want me to do a separate video on countries where you can fly with your Ghanaian or your Nigerian passport so visa on arrival arrival e-visa and also also visa free countries so as I said visa free uh, simply means countries that you can visit with a valid passport so a valid passport means having a passport that is uh, within six at least the passport is in date six months because if the passport is going to expire within a week, a month, I don't think you would be able to get even a visa or even be able to travel with that passport. So make sure that before you travel, the first thing that you need to do is to just get your passport, open the passport, check the expiry date. When the passport has expired or when is it going to expire? Is it going to expire, let's say, within three months? No, then I can't travel. Is it going to expire within uh, eight months? yes you can travel because it has to be in date at at least for six months before you do what before you travel so yes the answer is yes so the answer is yes yes you can travel yeah and then on so what is visa on arrival so visa on arrival simply means you do not require a visa before you travel to a particular country because you would obtain it at your final destination and uh, this doesn't mean that it's going to be free there might be applicable fees depending on the country because some countries depending on the country uh there might be applicable fees some countries would not charge you for any fees but other countries would charge you for you know uh visa on arrival fees so do your research very well if you're flying uh, or if you've booked your flights directly through an airline as 
I work with Emirates, for instance. If you want to travel to any part of the country with your Ghanaian passports, where you do need a visa on arrival, when you phone me to book for a ticket, the first thing that I'll ask you that's, have you, I mean, uh, applied for your visa? Have you checked the visa requirements for that particular uh, destination? Because first of all, if you've watched the videos that I've done on visas, on visas, you would realize that I made mention that every airline is not obliged to tell you that you need a visa because what because every country has a specific Im immigration office that they do advise you whether you need a visa before you travel to that particular country that is why it's not a job for the airlines well i'm talking about emirates to be precise so emirates will if i want i will tell you it depends on who you speak to for instance if you call me and you want to travel yes i might i might advise you on uh, the visa if you need a visa for that particular country or you do not need it or have you applied for it and also necessary information that you need so visa related i can l let you know the country's immigration website so you can apply for the visa but if you're flying or you are you did your booking through a travel agent sometimes i would say that it's also easy because what they do book your flights for you they do book your accommodation for you and they also check if you need a visa or not also they do also book for a travel insurance for you so do make sure that if your travel agent if you fly with a travel agency or your bookings were book was or your flight was booked or your vacation was booked by a travel agent make sure that you ask these questions if the ticket is booked if it's uh if your accommodation is booked if you've got a travel insurance because most airlines do not have a travel insurance that will cover your entire flight or your entire so in case you result sick at your final destination if you're going to be covered so you do need to make sure that you've got your own travel insurance so you need to ask the travel agent if he or she has booked it for you that is very important so do jot this down not this down before you travel do make sure that you've had done your research fine you may uh you may have your own you may trust the uh, travel agents to do everything for you but do also go through all the checks tick every box whether he or she has booked everything for you they've done it before you arrive at the airport because most of the time so many people arrive at the airport yes i do have experience working at the airport because i did work with easyjet for about three years so what i'm saying i know what i'm saying and i know when it comes to people turning up at the airport being frustrated because they have not done their research and they they've not been told they don't know that they need a visa for that particular country that they are visiting and that's where we come in and tell them that oh you need a visa why didn't you apply for a visa and then you do you are unable to travel because you've not got the right documentation to travel and in that case you need to reschedule your flight you miss your flight that's money wasted first of all so do your research for it make sure that you've spoken to people if you have a friend who is working in the airline industry you can speak to them they can be of help to you to let you guys know whether you need a visa on that particular destination that you're traveling to or you don't need it if you can't ask them because i know so many Ghanaians. i've got so many friends of mine that yeah they do know that i work with emirates they do know that i do uh work with an ally they will never come to me some of them is just their ego some of them too they feel like oh uh they don't want to worry me and that's okay and that's fine however if you do not want to ask any friend of yours who works in the um airline industry do your research go on their website on the airline's website read informations don't be um read informations or if you can't read it just ask someone who can do that for you speak to someone a friend a family member or something just so you get the right information before you travel you don't end up at the airports without a visa so you get turned back home and you miss your flight you lose money and you get frustrated and that's where people turn out being frustrated and i mean arguing with the passenger service agents at the counter at the airport but bear in mind it's not our fault because you need to do your research before you get to the airport so uh when you get to the airport and they tell you that uh, you, why do you need to apply for a visa or you need a visa don't go mad go angry at the customer service agent because yes you might think that it's their job to get to help you to get the visa but bear in mind they are not obliged to do that yes it is your job to make sure that you get your visa before you arrive at the airport that's the reason why i'm saying that before you travel and you're booking your own flights by your own self do make sure that you phone the airline 
get all the questions that you need to ask. Do I need a visa? How long do I need a visa? Is it 30 days? Is it 90 days? Is it 180 days? If they don't know or they don't want to tell, if they don't know, some of them will suggest the right uh, uh, the right website for you to go so you can apply for it. Some too, they do really do not know because obviously it's not part of their job to know it. So they will tell you to go to Google and search for it. And that's where you would have to do it yourself. If not, if you're traveling, if you've done your bookings through a travel agent or let's say a true operator, that's even easier because as I said, they do all the hard work for you. But do also make sure that you tell them, you ask them questions have you done this have you booked have you checked if i need a visa how long do i need a visa for how long do i need to stay at that final destination how long do i need to return back do i need any documentation or any information before i enter into i enter back to the uk will i need to quarantine this is if it was covered time but we are we are no more in the covered time so i don't think that you need to quarantine anyway but however do ask questions if you do not understand anything do ask questions do ask people that you know that as I said they're in the avi uh, they're in the aviation uh industry if not to just phone the airport yes they also have information phone the airport call the manchester airport hello uh good morning i'm looking uh, um is this the customer service for um for jet 2 airline please can, may i speak to anyone that could be of help to me i'm trying to travel in a next month however i do not know whether i need a visa or where i'm going is if it's a free country or is a visa on arrival or, or i need to apply for an e-visa could you please help me who do i need to speak to what website do i need to go to apply ask questions sometimes people are scared to ask questions but trust me when you ask those questions you would get answers to what you need so don't be shy just ask anyone and you'll get the answer yeah some people may be rude to you when you phone them at the airport well maybe they've had a bad day or something some too they, ju they are just rude that's their nature but just uh have patience when you call them because because they're having so many people coming to check in and all that, it's a bit too, they are being too frustrated and the weight is too heavy for them. So when you go to the airport, do have patience, respect the passenger service agent. They are also human beings because they are also there to help you. You know what? There is a saying that hang go, hang come. So if I help you, you also help me. So if you help them by respecting them and making sure that they are doing their job, at the same time, they're helping you you also get the answers that you need from them so do respect each other let it be mutual so you would be happy and they will also be happy yeah so the third thing that i want to talk about is e visa. e visa means when we say e visa e so what does e visa means e stands for electronic in other words let's just say you can apply for a visa online yes online on the computer yeah online <laughs> that's so easy that's the easiest thing you could do it simply means that you apply for your visa online before your journey comments yeah or before you travel literally so yeah that's what it means so uh these are three things that i wanted to talk about visa free visa on arrival and e-visas if you have any questions or any sort of uh anything that you did you did not understand in this video just feel free to send me emails i've i keep on receiving so many emails from people f wanting to travel to dubai mostly well other countries as well but mostly is dubai and uh, listen i'm not complaining i'm glad that i'm there that I, i'm i'm being helpful to people that people see me that they need to come to me to ask me things that they don't they do not know however 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 let me make it that easier for everyone so let's just say that the emails will go a little bit down and that would be if you want to travel to dubai first people were saying that yes the uae is visa free country so that means you don't need a visa don't let anyone lie to you with a Ghanaian passport you need a visa to travel to the uae now if you're flying with us emirates it's quite easy as i've explained twice in my videos which i'm going to pop up here for you guys to watch that's if you want to watch it yes i've explained that if you fly with emirates it's quite easy because once you book your ticket you automatically get a message telling you that you need a visa so if you want to apply for the visa click here
so you just click on it and then it, it takes you through the process you apply for it and then voila there you go however if you're traveling with a travel agent the travel agent as I've, I've said earlier the travel agent is also there to help you to apply for your visa because yes they are they, let's just say that they work like we the airline customer uh, agents Let's just say that we are equal, but yeah, we do different things, yes. However, they, they are also there to help you. But if you fly with a different airline, not every airline that would tell you that you need a visa or they have a tool for you to apply for the visa, just like Emirates. So in that case, you can ask them where you can apply for the visa. Or if they don't know, the two places that you can apply for visas that I know is... DubaiVisa.net If I'm quite correct, I'm just going to pop it on the screen so you guys can see. Apply for a Dubai visa. When I say Dubai, apply for a UAE visa over there. However, with Emirates, that's also make it very easy for everyone. And what I'm saying is that if you go on Emirates website, I'm going to show you, pop it up on the screen, what I mean by that. If you're traveling to a particular country and you want to know whether you need a visa, or you don't need a visa with your Ghanaian passport any or any other passport whether it's a Nani, and whether it's a Ghanaian passport or a Nigerian passport this is how you go through the process so to go to passports and visas so this is the Emirates website click on passports and visas when you click on it it does tell you UAE visas or so this is how you would want to uh, this is how it is if you want to know whether you need a visa for a particular country through emirates which is very easy with other airlines i don't know how they do it but i do quite know about easy jets also if you want to you know uh see if you need a visa for a particular country you can use travel doc that's also another website to find uh to that's also another website which tells you whether you need a visa for a particular country or not on the other hand, you can also apply for a visa through VFS Global. FS Global. You can apply for a visa also through there. I'm going to leave all the links in the description box. That's if I forget to put it on the screen, you'll find it in the description box. Do click on it. Read the information over there on how to apply for visas. Visa is very important. If you do not have it and you are flying to a particular country, which they require you to have a visa. Well, I'm so sorry. When you get to the airport, we will tell you that you wouldn't be able to travel. And uh, that's the case. People get frustrated. People get mad and trying to insult you. In the past with EasyJet, let's just say that in a separate video, let's see if I can get uh, two of my, you know, uh, friends and my colleagues from EasyJet. So we sit down and explain to you guys what really goes on at the airport. It's not easy, guys. We get, we meet too many different people from different countries. We meet like almost more than thousand people in the day. And everyone has his own frustration. Everyone has his own attitude. And some of the attitudes we get from the passengers, it is so, 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 so aggressive. So rude, especially Sorry about this. I got to say it because this is how it is. I'm not saying it because I'm being racist towards uh, blacks. But listen, our black sisters and brothers, especially our moms, some of them are so rude. Literally. Let me just tell you this short story. So when I was working with EasyJet, this is how I was dressing. Let me show you my outfit here. So with, when I was working with EasyJet, I did had a, a certain lady who came to check in her flight because I was boarding that flight that, what, that day and she was traveling to Italy, Milano to be precise. And uh, she didn't know that I was Italian. So I speak Italian. So, uh, you know what I'm working? I don't speak Italian because I, I don't want to be biased. I speak English. This lady didn't know that I speak Italian. So, she just came. I was boarding the flight. So, with EasyJet, let me tell you, now things have changed. And uh, the baggage um, allowance has changed. When I used to work with them, it wasn't like that. And uh, during my time, what happens is, if you want to uh, uh, board EasyJet, you need to make sure that the, your bag is not over. So if it's ten, if your hand luggage is 10 kilos, it has to be 10. If it exceeds 10, or if it's too big to fit in the in this thing, let me show you. So they have this thing that you have to place your bag in it. I've forgotten the name, guys. Yes, right now I don't work at the airport again. There are so many things that I've forgotten. But let me show you a picture of how it looks like. So like this. So you need to make sure that it fits in. And if it doesn't fit, 
we will have to charge you 50 pounds yes per bag 50 pounds so when people come and check in i am so generous and so kind that i get close to you it doesn't matter whether you are black you are white you are green you are yellow or whatsoever i get close to you and i tell you listen let me help you i don't want you to pay that 50 pounds yes it's a commission if if i charge you 50 pounds i get commission but i'm not that is not important to me what is important to me is that my customers come to me are happy with my service and when they go they will come back and when they come back, they will look for me and say, I want Ethel to help me to check in. Yes, that's what I want to hear. When I hear that, I feel happy. It makes me happy. So that's what I did. So this lady came, as I said, she's a, she's a Ghanaian to be precise. Yeah, she comes from Ghana, living in Italy. Yes, yeah, she forgot I was also Italian. And I've lived in Italy for uh, 10 years. So I speak the language. So she came, she checked. And when she came to check, I told her, mom, your bag is over. And let me help you. Try and divide the bag. So she's got the checked in bag, which is okay. So just remove part of your hand luggage and put it in the checked in bag. So when you get to the gate, you get to the gate, you don't go and pay 50 pounds. Okay. This lady got angry. First of all, I don't know for God knows what. I don't know what mood, who offended her when she was coming to the airport or what, what mood she was in. I just don't know. She got angry with me that I told her to repack. In fact, she didn't listen to me. And she forgot that I'm work, uh, she forgot that I was going to board that flight that day. So she called a colleague who is a white colleague and asked her that, could you please help me to check in? My, ba my bag is over, so can you help me? And, and then she realized that that white person that she spoke to, that lady, was my manager. And my manager told her that, you need to speak to Ethel. So yeah, Ethel is my first name. So Ethel is the right person you need to speak to. And this is because she is boarding the flight. So you need to speak to her and she would be able to help you or tell you what you need to do. If not, you would have to pay 50 pounds, madam. And she was like, oh, 50 pounds. Oh, okay. Okay. So then when, I, when she wanted to call me, I didn't mind her anymore. Because if you disrespect me as a black woman, you think that I'm black. So, oh, yeah, uh, you are working at the airport. So, and so what? So I don't want you to help you. So this is the time I'll also show you that. Well, it's my flight. So I choose to help you or not. Because I helped you. I was trying to help you. And you said no. So it's, it's passed. I'll rather choose to help someone else who wants my help. So I forgot about her. She came to the gate and I was boarding the flight. It was five minutes for me to close my flight. So I told, uh, I printed the paperwork. What they did was, uh, they, they helped me with my flight. So I told them that they should just tell that lady to stand aside because that bag is not going on my flight. As a matter of fact, I am removing her from my flight. She's not going on my flight. Not because I'm trying to be aggressive. Wait, let me take it down to my dialect for you guys to understand. And yes, I may try me home. And I say, yes, I may person me who's a may yes, oh, okay, I fed you up to me. Miss Metro say, Miss Me, you drum our airport. It's not like that. Sometimes we blacks do not respect each other. And this is because we think that, oh, yeah, because the white people are there, you respect them more than we blacks as someone who is the same color as you. And I wanted to let her understand that, listen, we are all equal, whether you are white or you are black. The only difference between us is probably the position. doesn't mean that you have to disrespect us. We are there to help you at the airport. So do give us the right, uh, so do respect us and we would also respect you back. So, long story cut short, I told her to stand aside. So I boarded everyone on my flight and the pilot was waiting. It was five, uh, I needed to close my flight five minutes before. So I rang the pilot, told the pilot, everything is done, you can go. So the lady then came to me and she was like, wait, are you leaving me here? And I said, why shouldn't I? I told you before you came through the gate that you should repack your bag because if not, you have to pay 50 pounds. And I'm not telling you as a black woman that you need to pay it because you are black. I tell the white people as well and they do it. They repack their bags. As a matter of fact, they remove some of the items and put it inside another bag because they want it to be leveled. So they don't pay the 50 pounds. Sorry to say, who do you think you are? That you don't want to repack. So if that's the case, then I'm sorry. It's either you pay the 50 pounds and I let you board my flight or I'm sorry, you lose your flight and you book for a brand new ticket and you do what you do the right thing. Yes. And at that point, that was when this woman, this woman did, wasn't even showing any remorse or whatsoever. 
what she was trying to do rather was what insulting me and she insulted my mother yeah person say to a madre and showing her hands like this while in my country ghana if you do this you are insulting someone that your mother and for me if you insult me i don't care but when you cross the line and insult my mother or my father oh come on i'm not going to let you go so i told her that i'm sorry I'm not trying to be rude on anything. In fact, I'm being kind to you by even speaking to you. So, I'm sorry you can't board my flight. You're off my flight. So, I told the pilot, yes, you can leave. The time is up. You can go. Oh, that was when she went on her knees. <laughs> yeah, the story is funny. This is a true story. I'm not telling you a lie. You can ask anyone from Manchester EasyJets. Just ask them about Ethel and they will tell you about that story. Because that day, everyone was laughing out loud. Seriously, it was really funny. The woman went on her knees. She was begging me, my daughter, I'm sorry. I didn't know that you speak Italian. And I said, mom, it's not that I don't speak Italian or I speak Italian. It's about respect. It's about me helping you and you helping me. You see, hand go, hand come. This left hand, it buffets this hand. You can never buff this left hand like this. You can't buff like this unless you do this. And then this right hand will buff this. So you need to be careful of who you speak to when you meet people. Don't speak to people anyhow because you think that, oh yeah, you are having a, tr a problem with them. So you speak to them anyhow because you don't know where your help will come from or tomorrow. Who is going to help you one day? So be careful who you speak to. So she then begged me, begged me, begged me. And then I, I'm that person that I do forgive easily. Yes, I even cry because, well, I did what I had to do. I was feeling a bit sad for her. So I told her to go. So I boarded her on my flights and then she left and she didn't miss her flight. But this is a lesson. This is a short scenario. This is a true story that I've told you guys just for you guys to understand that working at the airport if you're a black person it doesn't really mean that we are not human beings we are also human beings so when you come and we are doing our job and we tell you to do something do understand what we are trying to do we are not trying to be too bossy and i say a try on so me age my airport internal we buy a and 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 no we are there to help you so if you help me i also help you thank you guys for watching looks like this video has really got into you uh, long i hope you guys watch to the end thank you guys for watching if you want me to do a separate video on easy jet experience with my colleagues kiara and timini i'll really be glad and happy to send them on my channel so we do that video just for you guys and also if you have any questions feel free to send me emails because i'm still receiving emails and i'm happy to reply them all the time for those of you who do uh send me emails however if you want to do it through the comments you can do so. I love you guys. Keep spreading love and peace. Until next time in my travel guide series. See you next week. Keep spreading love and peace. I love you guys. Mwah. Mwah. Mwah.